Okay, this is something about parting your hair. Okay. And then a triangle. No, this is not right. But I have a lot of baby hairs. I'm scared of it. I'm scared for you. Is this even? Oh my god. Oh my god, I think I got so much. I'm scared. Like, why am I doing this? I'm so scared. Okay. I'm kind of shook right now. Oh my gosh. Like, oh, okay. Okay. But how am I gonna, like, I don't even strain my hand like that. Once I cut it, there's no going back. Let's just cut this one. I cut some. Are you gonna push it and do it? Huh? What do they mean by when they go like this? Like that? Let's make it even. But there's gonna be hair everywhere, okay? This looks straight though. And I guess. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. There's no going back. <laughs> oh my god. I think I should just section this part right here. My heart is beating so fast, like, you don't even know. Am I sure I want to do this to me? That looks so ugly. That looks so ugly. <laughs> this looks so ugly. I regret it. I regret it. Oh my god. I look so misbuilt. Like, this is not okay. It's not over yet. <sighs> oh yeah, what are you going to do next? <sighs> I don't know. Wait, curl it. Curl it with the fire. Clean the only the inside. It looks but like this <laughs> happened. <laughs> like I don't know how I feel because I my stupid ass like cut more I don't know how to explain it, but I think I just need to cut this to match with this part because I didn't get enough like on that I side. I worked there on like Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button. And if you are not, thank you for watching again. Um, as you can see from the previous clip, I cut my bangs. So um, life is great right now. I don't know why they look like this, but they do. But I am not gonna like have them out today because, yeah. But today's my birthday, if y'all didn't know. It's my birthday, I'm 16, officially. I know y'all gonna, I've been seeing comments like saying, um, like I need to choose my age because on some videos I put I'm 16 and then some like say 15 but it's like my birthday was a couple days away so I might as well just put 16 instead of 15 and making it less complicated so yeah um, that's my cousin and my mom in the background but I got birthday so I like stop playing and then my balloons are in the bag but I'm gonna get ready Um, this is gonna be a get ready with me and a vlog just cause um I know this get ready with me is not gonna be like 12 minutes long. Who threw that at me? Okay, but yeah, so let's start off with my hair because that's the most important part. Um, I'm gonna curl it, but later on. Plus, um, I don't know what I'm talking about, but okay. Okay, so I'm gonna try this thing at y'all. TikTok. Okay, so I'm gonna try this thing that I tried on TikTok. It's like 
and basically you part your hair in the mid, well not in the middle, on the side, right? So you part it on the side, make sure it's even because you're gonna, like people are gonna see that. Oh, and by the way, Ariel is sleeping, so yeah. <laughs> Um, you're gonna do your makeup okay so that's the main part I wanted to do because I knew Ariella was not gonna let me spend that much time on my hair because she's a baby she needs attention but let's just go ahead and do your bad beauty makeup um what I'm gonna tell y'all is I basically put on lotion as my primer just because my skin is really really dry right now and i don't like my skin being hella dry so yeah i've been using a uh, moisturizer as 
my what was i saying dude i cannot multitask for nothing but i've been using this so if you're like why should you put lotion on her face it's because my face is just really dry and that's why okay um i'm gonna start off with my eyebrows because i always do you guys been asking for an eyebrow tutorial and i'm so sorry but i cannot do those because i do get distracted i cannot i cannot i shall not i will really fuck you guys up or i could probably do one i don't know i'm just i will just i don't know how to explain it but i just feel bad you know like i don't want to like mess up your guys' eyebrows by you copying my eyebrow routine because like i said i can't do makeup talk about something important which is my postpartum um you guys have been asking a lot of questions about my labor and most of the questions are did it hurt of course it hurts like you come on now you're in pain like you're pushing a whole ass watermelon out that's the best way i could describe it is you're pushing a watermelon out um and it's kind of like how do I say it? Mm, more like you're just ugh, like you're straining yourself. Like that's how I feel. You're just really straining yourself while you're pushing, obviously. And that's how you can get hemorrhoids. But I didn't get hemorrhoids. Thank God I didn't get hemorrhoids. But I didn't get hemorrhoids. But some people like don't even talk to you about how to push. Like I know there's some doctors that um or there's some people that you just go to that help like to talk to you about birth and stuff and i didn't because they didn't refer me to one to anyone i did go to a class in the hospital but it was more like a tour of the hospital and a tour of the um where like you know your rooms and stuff that's more like that but I have to say um birth is not how people do describe it it's really painful but it is like beautiful if that makes sense it's just so painful and the fact that like I had nobody to teach me how to push that's probably what made my labor really longer because I probably could have had her out within 30 minutes but it took me a whole hour to push her out just because I didn't know how to push like especially the nurse that i had she was just really annoying and like she kept telling me not to push on my face like how am i gonna push them like obviously you're gonna make a face if when you're pushing and um i literally felt like my eyeball my my eyeballs were coming out of my head because that's how bad i was pushing and that was not the right way to push and no one taught me that because 
I didn't go to no classes on how to birth a baby. But I did go to classes on how to breastfeed, which I already knew was going to be easy. But then again, it's not. It's really hard for some people. But me, it took me like a day. No, right when she came out, matter of fact, right when she came out, she was on my uh, boot. And I was feeding her and she was fine until uh, my nipples started bleeding because, um, I'm sorry, that's TMI. But my nipples started bleeding because obviously you don't you're not used to someone sucking on your nipple like really really hard matter of fact because she had a really strong suck and i remember the nurse telling me that i shouldn't i mean i should get a pacifier just because she has a really strong urge to suck so i was like okay yeah like okay so i had my mom bring me a pacifier because she had went home so she just came to the hospital and she got, she bring me um, like a couple pacifiers because they were all different sizes. I wasn't sure on which one she was gonna use. So I just bought like, she brought four of them. And I did like, I already boiled them and everything because I know you're supposed to boil um pacifiers. So I did that and everything. And she ended up liking the weird one. So I was like, okay. But I only had one of those. So I had to go like on a search to find another one because I had got that one um for free. And uh, What's it called back? And a what is it called? <gasps> Wait, I'm not even doing my makeup. What am I doing? Um, I got that free in a gift bag. I got that in like a Target registry bag. So I had to go on a search to Target and go get some more because she only had one. And sadly, uh, we lost that one pacifier. And she did like that one. Like she liked that one a lot, but I lost it. Or, I don't know, but pacifiers just get lost really fast. Anywho, um, like I said, yeah, so she had a really strong urge to suck, so my mom brought her pacifier and she was fine. Like, she was just using me as a pacifier and I wasn't using a nipple shield at the time, so it hurt. But I do breastfeed with the nipple shield. I can't do it without the nipple shield because she's, I can't wean her off i think that's the word wean her off i can't wean her off the nipple shield no more she doesn't know how to suck if she's telling me she's awake um she doesn't know how to suck if there was no nipple shield and that's my fault because i should have took her off the nipple shield when she was like a week old i could have like my milk fully came in like four days later and everything so so that's honestly just my fault because she would have been off the nipple shield. But yeah, now that she's older, she does not know how to suck. Like, without the nipple shield. So I can't breastfeed without that. So if I lose that, it's going to be hell for me. Because she don't know how to, like, actually um, latch onto my nipple. Okay, but yeah. Um, other than that... That's all people have been asking me is just, is, birth, is labor hard? Yeah, it's hard and it's gonna hurt, obviously. But if you have the right people by your side, you'll get through it. I don't wanna stay uh, too much because of the coronavirus, you can't really have a lot of people in the labor and delivery room. Um, lucky I had my baby before I was starting. So that's good. Okay. So I tried to put on some lipstick and it didn't work out, so I'm gonna put some different, a different color on. I had a freaking lip liner that was so bomb, bro. Like, it matched my lip color, so basically it just gave my lips more color and I lost it. Like, that's, that's, that sucks, like, for real. Let me try this one. I always buy, like, yeah, no, I don't like this one. I always buy, um the same lip liner and it just never wait is this it let me find out this is it this is it i found it okay um toilet paper okay but to finish the story uh 
everyone came to visit me um, the day I gave birth so there, I had no visitors the second day just because I wanted to rest like I had asked people like not to come because I was really tired I'd say since the day I gave birth I haven't slept like I haven't had a really good night's sleep because she wakes up probably every I'd say every every four hours to eat still she still wakes up every four hours but the good thing is when she does wake up she goes right back to sleep so I just pop her on and she's sleeping and that's the bright side about breastfeeding you could just pop them right on like like nothing right um and now that i'm almost done i need to carry this around me all day i didn't even mention what i was doing i'm just over here getting ready talking about random stuff so this is why i can't do get ready for me is because i talk about some random stuff like for real okay work okay i'm not using this highlighter this is a really good highlighter though let me put you on this is a really good highlighter it's the wet and wild loose highlighter but i do use this elf one instead because it just comes out better and i use this elf brush to app wait i to put it on i want to say applicating i think that's the word but i don't want to like mess up and like sound stupid so i use this brush to put it on I'm done, but I still need to do my hair, so I'm not really done. Even I don't like my makeup. My eyelashes look so funny, like it disturbs me. Okay, that's nice then. So I got to carry around this fucking butter gloss. My makeup looks so ashy. Let me see. My makeup looks ashy, but look at all the yellow. <laughs> She's hungry. I gotta feed her. But um, I'm gonna take her next door because <sighs> why? Because I don't like taking her out, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna leave her with my aunt like always. Um, she looks so mad. But look at her little bow and then look at her outfit. It's so cute. But I'm gonna get back to you guys in a little bit. I'm probably gonna go to the store right now. So. She looks like the girl from yesterday. Okay. Is you gonna eat it? <laughs> no. Why? I don't know. Who the f is you the wing? <laughs> okay, so I'm taking pictures and you probably see them on my Instagram, so follow my Instagram. Do my eyes. Okay, but yeah, and Ariel is right here. Biting. Okay, she was tired. She was falling asleep and I woke up to take Get pictures. Your so yeah follow my instagram so you guys can see those pictures thank you
since today's video i know it's probably short but i'm um, so sorry about that let me show you guys ariella she's right here she's acting so fussy right now it's, it's not late it's, it's like 10 o'clock um yeah i'm gonna show you i should show you guys what i got let me show you guys what i got but i got many um i don't know how much i got but i got many dang i feel like that boy no but i got money for one um the stuff i already ate um i had got starbucks as a gift because starbucks is so bomb um i got these balloons when i had woken up let me show you guys this okay so obviously this was like prettier before but i couldn't like mess it up but my friend Juanita, she had got me a bear, which is hella cute. I'm probably gonna put in Ariella stuff twice. I got some chips, some candy. Um, I got Skittles. I just got chicken candy in a little basket that I'm probably gonna use um, for Ariella's pamper. So thank you, Juanita. And then I got this bag, but it's just um, hella stuff in here. I mostly just got cards with money in it. Um, so I got like, I got hooker cards and what else? I had got these, um, this Bath and Body Works perfume and lotion. It smells so, it smells so good, like so good. I'm gonna put it in my perfume collection. And then I got in this mini mouse bag, which is cute, but okay. And then I got a loofah, cause I like loofahs. Loofahs are good. I don't know why I smelled it, but it smells good. But I got a loofah too. And yeah, and like I said, so I didn't really get much this birthday. I really never get much, but um, yeah. But I'm still grateful for everything. Um, I, I don't know. I like smelling my candles, but yeah. But the most best gift I got was Ariella. I'm sorry if that sounds corny, but yeah. Um, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys want to see next, and thank you for watching.